I've been getting a lot of DMs asking me how to get Discord Nitro and a whole load of other questions about catfishing. So in my Discord server a couple weeks ago, I posted an Ask Me Anything about catfishing with a Google Forms followed with it, and a whole bunch of people filled it out, and today in this video, I'm gonna be answering a bunch of your guys' questions as quickly as possible, and hopefully you get the answers you were looking for. Okay, so let's not waste any more time and get right to the first question. First question we have here is how to make the person tell that I'm a girl. This is a very basic step, I honestly don't know why people ask this question. I have so many videos on how to become the best catfish, how to bait. I have like three or four videos on the, this topic, I think. But just a little quick rundown. Get a girl profile picture, get an anime profile picture, have a cute name. I know you're going to ask me, what's a cute name? I'm sorry, I can't think of one on the spot. But look at other people's profiles. If you know someone's a girl on Discord, um look at their profile and kind of copy it because since they're a girl then you can recreate it and then you're a girl maybe <laughs> i don't know yeah i know that's kind of a indirect response to your question but i'll have a couple of videos on the screen that i've done that kind of go in more uh depth on the topics of how to set yourself up to look more like a girl so those will be up on the screen Next question is how to respond to the person who says something like, take a pic of a paper that has your name on it, etc. This is one of the biggest problems in the catfishing space, I think, is it's very hard to actually verify yourself to a person. And most of the time when this occurs, I try to convince them not by sending a photo of myself, right? And saying, look, if you don't believe me, you can reverse image search. And typically the photos that you should be using, which there's another question, I think, in this form where I'll, I'll answer how you can make sure people um, don't find other images that you're using of the same girl. So I'll help you with that in a bit. But in this case, you can use that as leverage and say, hey, well, you can reverse image search and you can see for yourself that there isn't any other girl that looks exactly like me out there. And sometimes that works. And sometimes these people are quite adamant and they're like, no, I want a piece of paper of maybe your Discord at or my Discord at on the paper with your face. If they're persistent to that, I'm sorry, you just, you just kind of lost. You can't really do anything with that. Next one. One of the biggest ones is how to bypass the verification because a lot of these servers now that I've advertised to catfish in have implemented a um, verification, which I think is kind of funny, but you guys kind of did it yourselves by catfishing a lot of the servers that I recommend, which maybe is my fault. <laughs> it probably is. But in this case, to bypass a verification, there's really only one way to do it. Um, if you have pictures of a girl that you know in person or just some random girl you met on Discord, she could live in California, she could live in Texas, you could live in a totally different country. If you're pretty good friends with a girl, you can say, hey, do you mind if you write down this Discord at? And then you can send it in to verify that you are um, not a catfish. Now, if you can't do that, you're just gonna wanna join another server that doesn't have verification. Anyone with verification, you might as well just leave the server immediately and try not to attempt in there unless you have somebody who can write a Discord at on there to verify that it's you. Okay, the next question, I never get creepy rich guys when I try to catfish. I always get people trying to be friends with me how do I only get people who want to give me Nitro specifically? The answer to this is you don't. You got to keep in mind that, yes, you have the intent to catfish for Nitro, but more than half of the people in these Discord servers, it's not their intent. They just want to talk to people. Discord isn't primarily, hi, how are you? Send me Nitro. A very small part of the community is oriented to that so to people who aren't used to that like i said more than half of discord 
it's kind of a gamble and it's really really rare if you want to improve your odds of maybe potentially getting more people who are into that i would say the playroom discord server but there's a big issue with the playroom discord server everyone's doing it everyone's going into the playroom discord server and they're just milking everybody in there and it's becoming more apparent that it's a hub for a lot of catfishers so in my opinion for you I just think you're going to have to go to any Discord server, not recommended by me, not recommended by your friends, look for yourself. The less catfishers in a Discord server, the more potential you're going to get more Nitro. It just works like that. So maybe if you go into Discord servers that have more of a um, dating slash sexual demeanor, which keep in mind, if you're doing that, there's most likely going to be verification. Okay, Oculus. Um, and since it's going to be verification, it's going to be harder. So it's really just look for Discord servers at any means possible, join them, look for selfies, and get right into it. I can't, I can't even answer this, dude. It just says sex. I don't, sex? I always get caught doing it, and now catfishing does not work. We need more methods to get Nitro. I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on as many methods as, as humanly possible as we speak. Um, in last month, I made, like, two videos on how to get Discord Nitro for the PC and how to get it for phone only. Um, look at those videos, if that's what you're looking for. I also have a Nitro Sniper video. Look at that, too. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I'm working on more, and I will always try to push out more. There's currently a Nitro promotion going on still. The Steel Series X um, Nitro for three months. If you're a new user who never had Nitro before, maybe you can get that too. Um, but I will always look out for new ways that people can get their hands on Nitro. I'm sorry the catfish thing doesn't work for you, but it does work for a lot of people still. So, you can still be quite persistent and um, work on it if you'd like. Completely off topic. People who enter DMs like this piss me the fuck off, okay? People who just do like a dot or send the Discord sticker of the uh, Wumpus or whatever the Clyde, I think his name is, waving. I'm sorry, I hate you. I just, it pisses me off. Please don't do it. <laughs> this is a really fun question. Um, how many times have you catfished and how many times have you got caught <laughs> um i catfished a lot i say catfished because i do not do it anymore but i do have a pretty funny story a couple days ago me and a few friends attempted to get nitro um the quickest one to get it kind of just wins and at the time I haven't catfished for about six months, so I thought I'd be a little bit rusty. Um, in a matter of ten minutes, I managed to get Discord Nitro, and I actually just gave it away in my Discord server. I posted the link and said here, because A, I don't need it, and B, I kind of wanted to test, like, can I still catfish? Like, am I still good at what I used to do? And is it harder for people to catfish? And I kind of just, it's not, I'm sorry, I know, I know it's very subjective, but it's just not hard to do. And I know you may be listening to this video, listening to me right now, and it's like, what do you mean it's not hard? It's, it's easy to do. What do you mean? It kind of just is. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and the same goes for a lot of people in my Discord server. We have people who've claimed six months of Nitro and two two weeks three weeks all catfishing so it's not like it doesn't work right and they do have another question they said if you read this thanks and please sub to me if you want you didn't put your channel name at all so you know what you can sub to me if you'd like we broke 2k in late december that, that's phenomenal thank you but yeah you can sub to me you should have put your thing. I would have actually, like, shouted you out if you put your YouTube. I don't really do shoutouts, but this was a good opportunity, and you kind of just screwed it up. 
What do you do when someone asks for selfies? If you send a random photo found on the internet, they will know you are a catfish. This is the fundamental. This is the world's basic thing. This is step one to catfishing. I don't know how you just didn't retain any information from my, like, three catfishing videos. I'm sorry if that came off toxic. I get a lot of questions like this, and I get confused. Um, but I will answer it for you. There's this website that I love to use. It's where you can reverse image search. I use this 100% of the time for photos that I use to catfish. I found this photo on the internet. There's also multiple photos of the same girl. Now, I want to see if people can reverse image search it. So all you're going to want to do is grab the photo, drag it here. It searches and you see zero matches. This is why with the photos that I used, going back to um, one of the questions I got earlier, you can use this as leverage by telling a person who's kind of spectacle on if they're going to send you Nitro, if they want you to verify through a piece of paper to reverse image search it because the odds of them using the same program that I use is extremely high. So now that this one has zero matches, as we know, what about this one? So, you're going to want to do the same thing <laughs> and just throw it in here. And there you go. Zero matches. As I have a few other photos, I'll just throw it in two. You'll see consistently zero matches. Therefore, you're this girl. You are this girl. <laughs> so, that is the easiest way of figuring out how to, to be a girl. How do I get people to DM me more often, even in the Playroom server? The reception from people is very low and hardly for people DM me. Now, I will say I do not recommend the Playroom Discord server. I said it earlier and I'll say it again. I do not recommend it. There's too many people doing it. And every time you advertise in Ask to DM, sending nudes, selling nudes, anything like that, you're going to most likely get the same people that other people got too. And those people are going to hear the same thing doing it for nitro selling it for nitro and it kind of becomes like a broken record so here's the answer don't use playroom simple as that you'll most likely have better success in discord servers that i don't advertise people to join in because like i said they get flooded and once they get flooded admins become aware of a lot of people catfishing People who are tr getting catfished become more aware. Like, you just can't do it to the extent we used to do it before. Because a lot of those catfishing videos that I've done got a lot of views. And a lot of views mean a lot of people are interested. And a lot of people are most likely doing it that way. And it just gets harder and harder for people to get away with it. Next question. <laughs> How to make deals with someone. Like, do I just ask them for it or what? They never ask for nudes or anything. All right, so a lot of people aren't really asking for nudes. It's kind of something you have to bring up. Say I posted a picture of this girl on a selfies channel and I got a DM from a guy saying, hey, you're really pretty. A little bit of conversation still goes on. And you get to the point where they're kind of like, is there any more pictures of you? Can I see more? That typically happens to me where they DM me saying, can I see more? This is where you kind of say, only if you, you know, send a photo of yourself, kind of get connected with this person. And then if they want to see more and more and they indicate more like nudes or something more lewd, that's when you can bring up the topic of Nitro. Now, I know you said they never ask for nudes or anything. And... That's the big issue. They need to kind of inquiry about it because they clearly want to see them. Now, they say this thing, whoever talks first loses. And that applies here. I don't know where that actually came from. Negotiation Institute. Using the negotiation tactic of silence. The golden rule when using silence as a tactic is whoever speaks first loses. When the opposing agent offers a counter that does not benefit your client, remain silent for as long as possible. Often the other agent will become uncomfortable, begin to talk, and may reveal further information that can help you 
successfully negotiate around the problem. That applies here. Whoever talks first loses. If you leave them on red for a little bit, then maybe they will respond more, a little bit more interested. And yeah, they also said, how are you? I'm good. I'm as good as could be. How are you? You just can't. It's just not possible, I don't think. You gotta be like a real negotiator to pull that one off. And yeah, I guess that brings us to the end of this AMA. If you have any more questions, I might do one in the future. Tell me in the comments below. If you did like this concept of the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully these answers weren't too, like, crazy or just indirect. It's just really hard to answer these types of questions. And, um, yeah, peace. <laughs>